Jeffrey Lin, uh, the man, the myth, dare I say the, the budding legend in New York is with us now here on Game Time. Jeremy, congratulations, 28 tonight. How much fun are you having? <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. It's been an unbelievable two, three days, and uh, I'm just thankful to be with this organization right now. Jeremy, I remember two years ago, you playing against John Wall in the Summer League in Vegas, seeing the confidence, now it's carrying over now. Where does all this confidence come from? Um, it's just, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Uh, I just think it's an opportunity here. Uh, there's an opportunity in a system that I fit into, and I think playing in this system, playing for Coach D'Antoni and having the guys, the players surrounded with, you know, Tyson and a lot of shooters, Amari and Melo, uh, just everybody giving me advice. I think the whole process is just give, gradually giving me more and more confidence. You know, Jeremy, I think the interesting thing in watching you the past couple games is the fact that you're in such tremendous condition. And I know you mentioned Kenny Atkinson getting you prepared for getting out on the floor and also crediting even uh, D-League coach Eric Musselman with some of your preparation. Can you just talk about those guys and mentally where they have you? Um, well, my, there's an, one assistant coach, like you said, Kenny Atkins, and uh, the strength coach, Bill Burgess. Uh, I mean, they, when I wasn't playing at all, they had me uh, running and lifting and, and keeping me in game shape. And so, you know, I'm just very thankful to them um, that they did that because uh, I was hurting out there tonight. <laughs> Uh, you've mentioned in a number of interviews how well Mike D'Antoni's system fits your particular skills. And one theme, uh, as we've seen in the last couple of games, has been moving toward the rim and either trying to score or setting other people up once you get yourself into the paint. What kind of instruction are you getting from Mike D'Antoni? What kind of feedback are you getting from him in terms of what he would like you to do? Uh, just be aggressive. Um, and I think that's the beauty of this system is there's so much space and there's so much uh, creativity and so just be aggressive and there's no necessary there's not necessarily a wrong play and that's the beautiful thing about it is you just attack and you have all these different options and the defense has to give you something so it's so you just try to find it you know i know the giants won a super bowl uh, yesterday so they're pretty popular but you're yeah. right there now in the city of new york I, you're you're like uh, i don't know what you're like you you're, you're no. <laughs> there's a buzz about you right now people are in love with jeremy lynn right now what what must it feel like after uh, you know going through the Warriors, going through the Rockets, trying to make your way through the league, or the league rather, and suddenly you're the toast of the town in New York. Uh, to be honest, the last year and a half, up until three days ago, it was pretty rough for me, just uh, struggling to find a spot in this league. And um, yeah, I'm just very thankful uh, to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, for just giving me this opportunity. I mean, I can't tell you how many different things had to happen for me to be here, and. Um, <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed right now. I'm just trying to take it all in, but I'm just thankful uh, to this, this team, like I said, and the fans here. They're awesome, and so uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to keep this thing going. Jeremy, we're, we're really pumped for you here and excited, too, but i got to ask you one more question before we let you go. Economics major at Harvard, looking at the numbers. Harvard has not been in the NCAA tournament since 1946. Will they make it this year? Oh, they're going to make it. They're definitely going to make it, and... Uh, you know, they, they're they like 20 and 2 or something like that. So everybody be on the lookout. Harvard basketball is on the rise. <laughs> uh, yeah. Before we let you go, are you off Landry Field's couch yet? Uh, yeah, I am. But I'm, I'm, I'm negotiating a price with them right now. I'm going to try to buy that thing. I think it has some type of uh, <laughs> magical power or something. So Love it. Um, I'm, not, Love I'm it. not there anymore. But uh, yeah, he's a great teammate, and he let me stay there for the night. So thank you to him. Uh, that's great. What a great story. Hey, congratulations, and uh, thanks for being with us. Okay, thank you.